welcome to space. Space. Some of you are actually in space at the moment. I am. Beautiful space. A bit of a change. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we've just for the sake of what the fuck's up with this Skype window thing. Yeah, we switched to Discord, so maybe the audio will be weird. It shouldn't be. Hopefully it's great. That's all when it comes to, uh, watching updates. What were it's, we doing? Uh, behind the curtain. Sa saving the world? Yes. Yeah, we're saving the world. Let's see. The last couple things that happened were, uh, you left the... Uh, enemy ship it's buried underground. You left Henry hidden in the STC room. You went mm -hmm. back, you talked to the king, uh, you started making preparations to uh, like go through the teleportarium and assault the enemy stronghold. Um, Grunty, or Merrick has been uh, beginning to work on using the city's power grid to power the ter teleportarium temporarily so you can get these murder servitors and people through. You were talking about, but never actually made a purchase for uh, a unit of Imperial Guardsmen. Um, well, we can't make it until he gets there, is the thing. Right, yeah, he... yeah you're waiting for uh, you're waiting for Sigmund to arrive at Damaris, which is where he was going to start looking for, for yep. you. Uh, and then Grunty... Uh, or Merrick went on to the ship was one of the last things that we did um, yes. to check out some doctored video recordings. Mm -hmm. and, and then our good friend was missing. Yes, yes, Simon. Simon was gone. And we should also totally make an endeavor of this whole thing now that we've got more steps beyond mm -hmm. defeat the chaos men. That's, uh, that's true. Yeah, so okay, let's go player save uh so, current endeavor so your current endeavor should be oh well liberation uh, of dearth is that what we're calling it dirt whatever uh, we're calling it dirt. Dirt. big dirt dirt old good old dirt big dirt I, I was just listening back to like it's definitely old but i'm not sure about good now, I was just listening back to last week's recording and I, when I was saying dearth, and mm -hmm. you guys called me out on it being a bad joke, but then I gave a shitty reason for why it was a joke, and you all accepted it, which in <laughs> hindsight was really strange. But that like, doesn't sound like me. No, I, you were I like, okay, then. Anything you say. No, because uh, I, 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 was like, well, I was like, welcome to dearth, and you, you were like, that's weird. Why are you saying that? And I'm like, because we're underground, and everyone was like, okay, yeah, that's fine then. Yeah. yeah, I didn't. I didn't understand it at all. So I just kind of went with. It. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I, I think that's everyone. Everyone. Ah, uh, freaking Kenor again. It's because because we're on Earth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're from Yorkshire. Okay. Yeah, that's what. That's, that, okay. that's that's the joke I was going for. Thank you, Ethan. <laughs> it's okay. Anytime. The steps that you've got here. Uh, well, you've already... why I hate him so much, though. You already found it, so that's a step completed. Hooray! Uh, you have established contact with them. Uh, they already kind of like you. Uh, you're going to have to remove the th chaos threat. Yep. Mm hmm Which is the current step that you're on. After that, you're going to have to unite, uh, all the nations to be a single planet. Yep. Yep. So it can be ours. Well, anybody's. Nope, we're taking Well, it. we want to... The emperors. And then, finally, you have to completely establish a planetary governance and have someone in charge of it and connect them to the rest of the, the Imperium. expanse. Yeah. Okay, so you're on step number three out of five. Yes. The easy one. Kill all chaos. Yeah, it should be... I imagine I'll take hour. Oh, good. I'm glad that Scoozle's cutting in and out. Yeah, you're, you're cutting yeah. in a bit. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a bit of a problem. Is that but, better? Yeah, it's yep. better now. Okay. I, well, it, it'll probably only take us like half an hour to kill all the chaos, I imagine. Yeah, yeah that's the easy part. We can, hour in the most. we can just blow up the whole planet. Yeah, there you go. That's one way to That's. I mean, destruction is always an option. 
Um, but yeah, okay. So um, that's good. Um, it's gonna be looking slightly weird on video as I live edit things. Uh, <laughs> um, right. So we we had a so problem with that there was no Simon and that we'd. Like, we uh, we wanted to find, possibly hire some uh, Imperial Guardsmen, but, um... How, how is that, like, a Simon to, a problem? Sigmund had well, to Well, because he's... To, uh, like, what was it? Simon's kind of important, and also he's the one that tipped me off to the... the weird messages coming through the engine room, and also he disappeared. Like, like do you know if those messages are actually real, though? Well, he also disappeared around the time that the stuff started getting doctored, so it's a little suspicious that he's gone. And also, I mean, regardless, either someone has removed Simon for Simon discovering something, or mm -hmm. the other possibility... Simon's a traitor. Exactly. Both, uh, which kind of means that we should go find Simon if we can. Yeah. I'm going to be very upset if Simon's a traitor. He's going to get a very stern talking to, and then I'm going to kill him. But, uh, Especially uh, after you vouched him not being the traitor. <laughs> yeah. But didn't or did the chaos uh, dudes just tempt Holt, or has he been trying to, to uh, or have they been trying to tempt anyone else on the ship? Like, could have, could they have gotten to Simon, for example? Possible, I guess. But we would have we would have noticed if a sh if a shuttle left the ship, right? Because Simon well, wasn't. Yeah. 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 No, he's well, still well, on the ship, as far as we know. Yeah. What when, when we did underground, so we wouldn't have noticed a, a shuttle. No, yeah, but, but we the, can ask someone people. on the ship would have. We yeah. haven't asked anyone yet. Eh, that's like they would have <laughs> notified us. I mean, you 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 did sort of just stop as soon as you found. Uh, we we stopped as soon as you found Simon was missing last time. Yeah, okay. so we should let's, like let's find out if the shuttle's if... gone anywhere. Yeah, because it's a lot easier to track a shuttle than a Simon on the golden, uh, not the golden egg, the silkworm. Uh, Marek, do you put GPSs in all your employees? Those are expensive, so no. Okay. I haven't gotten okay, so, that. Uh, uh, I haven't gotten uh, Captain Silkernicus to write that one off yet. Uh, do we have any travel uh, travel uh, logs from uh, from the ship? Okay, so uh, if you go take a look, there is actually one shuttle missing at the moment. It's oh, of course. There. Is, it, is um, it one of the good ones? They're all it good is. ones. No, what there's the talking? better ones, and then there's our crappy ones. No, they're all great. Some are just more great. Okay. Um, are there any uh, flight logs? Like, uh, did someone check it out? Uh, no, there's no one. You know, there's there's nothing that's uh, recorded that someone this anywhere. Okay. Awesome. So is is we, there any security uh, that sort of like you know looks after the shuttles and? would like notice somebody taking one i mean someone Not really should good. have probably noticed one of our shuttles leaving yeah uh you can you can ask around mm -hmm. we should ask the bridge crew this is something like if they didn't pick this up then yeah what the fuck's going on uh okay so asking around for your crew one of your shuttles left the silk waifu and docked with the golden egg fuck why oh good okay so let's uh, let's bring up who did who's in charge of the golden egg again? Uh, the cruel lady. Yeah, the new lady. Yeah, yeah some um, rando that I hired. Tara. Yeah, you should call Tara. her up and see if they received the shuttle. We should. We should. We should definitely call Tara up, and uh, Holt should uh, talk to. Uh, hey, what's his face? Quinelli. Yeah, Quinelli. Is that her name? Quinelli's the astropath on the golden egg. I need a float. But trip. yeah, I'll um I'll call Tor uh Tora and see what's happening. Okay. My money is she's been turned to chaos. Uh she she answers you. Um she, uh, she I wants don't know to know what you want to know. Well, we've uh, we've seen a shot. Uh, according to our logs, there's a shuttle that's left the silkworm and has a dock with a golden egg. I want to see what what that was about. Uh, she says she doesn't know anything about it. She starts, you know, working on one of the uh, consoles. Um, 
a few moments later, she says, "Yes, uh, yeah, you know, just a couple of hours ago, a one of your one of the shuttles from the Silkworm docked with the golden egg." Okay, do you know uh, who was who was on that shuttle? Do you know, well, like, what was the reason for it docking? Uh, well, there's uh, there's no reason listed in the flight log. Okay, so um, there might be a man um, called. Simon, he looks like this. I'm sure I have everyone on some type of file. I can show a picture of Simon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And he's gone missing, and we suspect that he's on the Golden Egg. And I don't really... I I don't know what he's up to, and I don't like it when I don't know what people are up to. So, if you can search for him, uh, we're going to we're gonna come over, I think. Uh, but please start... Start the search and see if you can find any information on who came on that shuttle. Uh, and why. Okay, yeah, the, uh, she'll conduct a search for you, see if she can find mm -hmm. I think we should fly over. Yep. Because I'm already are you going to be flying? You guys are on the surface, except for Merrick, who has the only shuttle that you guys had on the surface, and he back to the ship. Hmm. I mean, we can just send another sh send you a shuttle do that, down yeah. to pick them, and yeah. I'm going to take one and go over the silk yeah. egg. I think that's the smartest. Egg now. That's the smartest solution for the moment. Okay. Uh, well, Merrick, you head over there. You get there first. Uh, when you arrive, they haven't yet found Simon. Um, you know, is there anywhere specific you want them to be looking? They're kind of just combing the entire ship right now. Yeah, which is going to take a while. Uh, first things first, I want to check out the shuttle that that was taken over there that we assume it's Simon that took it. Mm -hmm. I want to okay. just give it a quick once over and make sure nothing weird's going on with it. Like, uh, no, a bomb. It, it, no, there's no bomb in it, but it seems, uh, you know, a good number of mechanical parts have actually been stripped out of it. Oh, good. Um, but let me look at uh, let me take a, a list here of what's missing from the shuttle and then i want to use logic to deduce what such parts could uh, theoretically be used to do okay go for it um also make sure that no one actually leaves the golden egg i because... think really hard about what these parts could be used to do that are missing from the shuttle. Okay, and it looks like most of the parts it. missing from the shuttle are uh, like some small motors and electrical parts. So, you know, most of the things that controlled the doors, things that moved the seats around, a couple of things that moved, you know, certain parts on the shuttle to steer some of the thrusters, things like that have, have all been hmm. taken. Lots of gears and motors and electronic Servos. things like that missing, yeah. Okay, so theoretically, I mean, that's stuff that you could use in the production of a servitor, but I don't know why you would strip them from the shuttle, because we just have those kind of parts already in our big closet of cogs. Uh, uh, some of the ones in the shuttle are bigger than the ones that you would use for a servitor like that. You know, they're a, a bit uh, stronger, a bit, you know, could... could there will be hell to pay way. if someone is making a space whale servitor. Or if somebody's, like, I don't know, recreating the Inquisitor. Hmm. That would also I mean, be it could annoying. Be something with a door, but, like. I mean, there's just so many places that a, that kind of equipment could be used on the ship that doesn't really help me narrow a search down any. Uh. I suppose I suppose we could focus on checking around uh, some of like the main engine port areas like where the actual people are that like pull the chains and make the engines turn and whatnot because like theoretically could do something to try to take control of the ship and make it turn and crash into something I guess. Okay. I'm kind of out of ideas at this point. Uh, like, I don't have well, a lot of leads. If you, you sure, you tell them to take a look there and see what they can find. Um, 
after you know a little bit of searching, Simon's not found. I'm going to say that by this point, uh, Kanor and whoever else is coming with him is up on the Golden Egg with their shuttle now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say it's just Kanor that came. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else decided to relax. I follow him forever. I'd like to check out the shuttle and see if there's any messages on the, like, um, whatever it's called. You know, the main panel. Just the the, the console? Like, any yeah. special messages? No, nothing, yeah. nothing there. Mm. The problem is, without any further leads, the Golden Egg is so big that it's going to take, like, weeks to track Can we send a shipwide message? You could. If you see this man, report to the nearest. Or to Simon directly, if we can. Well, if he's... Probably not going to respond. If if, if he's hiding, he's not going to respond. And if he's incapacitated in some way, he's not going to respond. So, I mean, I guess it's worth a shot in case he's not hiding. But it would seem weird that you'd be so... Like this, if he was. Did anyone see... I mean, surely someone must have seen the ship dock and, like, or is yeah, that oh, a to- yeah, yeah, yeah so- people people saw it dock. No one thought what? anything strange yeah. of it or at the no, time. No, no, but was there like, was it just one person getting off, or were there several? Uh, uh yes, it was only Simon. Okay. Hmm. And what was he like? What did he look like? Was he? Did he look spe- particularly shifty or like stressed? Uh, they said, did he have like a million he... tentacles coming out of him? No, they no. said he seemed a bit annoyed and a little bit of a hurry, but other than that, they didn't think anything of it. Hmm. Uh, saw him, Doc. Annoyed, huh? Hmm. We could. We could also check the engine room, perhaps. I'm feeling he's probably around parts he he'd know, right? Which would mean the end. I mean that end. that's certainly the the best, and also like if he's annoyed, maybe he's maybe he well, discovered the scrubbing and is trying to get a yeah. message from this engine or something. I mean, I don't what know. we should what we should figure out is what's different between the golden egg and the silkworm that would that would force Simon to move to this ship rather than do whatever he's doing on. The silkworm. Well, it's larger. He has. He would have more. There's more power to work with. More systems. Less. Yeah, but the, effect, if, so it's so easier if it, to change. Yeah, so if it's a power around. issue, you should be able to get into the system, right, and see if someone is tapping power from somewhere they shouldn't be. Like that's something we should shot. be able to trace, right? Mm-hmm. Or if it's something that has to do with either the machine spirit on this ship or some of the technology we have in the silkworm that the golden egg doesn't have that could make it easier for simon to do whatever simon's trying to do there is some archaeotech on the golden egg we know that Mm -hmm. i don't know a whole lot about it but like it it is an older ship that has some some fancy gizmos that are not of xenos origin so he could be trying to do something with that uh what Nuggin, what specifically Archaeotech does it have again? Do we know? I can't remember. Uh, it's, uh, no, it's a, it was missing a Archaeotech component. You're not sure what it is. But, uh, you know, a lot of just the ship is older and Archaeotech parts, even though it doesn't have a specific Archaeotech component at the moment. So it's lots okay. of older parts in the ship in general. I mean, in general, you know, older technology is better. It's because, you know, just over time... We lose more and more of the remnants of the dark age of technology. So I can't tell you specifically what he's looking for, but uh, certainly there are things of interest on the Golden Egg that don't exist on the Silver. Okay. Well, let's let's start by conducting a search in those areas then. All right, let's let's start with the engine room. Like I yeah. think that's uh, where he is, oh. but that's Maybe also we... going to give me better access to like look at power yeah. readouts and whatnot. Do we do we know if because we had problems with we were send were we sending or receiving messages through our 
through our engine on the silkworm, right? There was a... Uh... Receiving. Yeah. Have we checked to see if the golden egg is receiving the same thing? Not yet, no. We probably should do that. And also there was... Someone had... Someone had edited a... Was it a surveillance tape? A video that yes. was set up. It's yeah. basically the video feed of the engine room that I was having Simon monitor to see if any new messages came in. So is and it was... possible that he managed to decipher what the message was then? Yes, that and is, is possible. Upon it? There's a reason that he might have uh, come over here, but I find it odd that he didn't notify me about it if he did discover a new message. Yeah. But, I mean, we... At this point, it would have been hard for Simon to miss that we're looking for him, right? We've been pretty open with it on this ship. Yes. I would assume so, mm -hmm. yeah. So, until we, I'm going to assume that, that that message is up to no good until I know better. No, no, that's, that's the assumption I'm running on as well. Like, this is not something that... Uh, a loyal tech priest of the Mechanicum would do is just der dereliction of duty is like a religious offense. This is very serious. So either he has a damn good reason for doing this, or he's betrayed us and I'm going to kill him myself. Hmm. Okay. 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 Uh, if you're going to like specifically lead a search in an area, you can go ahead and make a roll for it to see if you find Simon. Okay, what what's the what would that role be? Uh, Kanor, you could use command if you want, or yeah. uh, you know, logic, or just about anything, just depending yeah. on how you want to be looking uh, around. Command sounds good. I don't have it. I don't have a token on the ship anymore, so I'm gonna use oh, yeah. the one on. Yeah, just use the player save one for now. Uh, I've got search. There we go. Three degrees of success. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to say that after you know a couple hours of searching, uh, one of your crew members reports that they found Simon um, down in one of the lower decks in engineering, sort of tucked away back through in some back tunnels. Okay. Let's Is he plugged into the ship? Like what? Yeah, they found him. In well, that's just where he is. You haven't. You, they, they, they. You've got a report that he has been mm -hmm. found, and there's like you know you've got a security team there holding the gunpoint at the moment. All right, let's go have let's, a chat with my good friend Simon. Let's go let's visit him. Okay, uh, you go down there, and it's you know he's he's standing there. He's a bit sweaty. He looks like he's been you know doing some heavy heavy work for a little while. Uh, he is being held at gunpoint by you know four members of your security team there as when you guys show up uh grunty hind simon is something that he has been building um do you want to make a tech use test to see if you figure out what it is or if you have any other relevant skill that you think would be useful to to know what it is he's been trying to put together here it's not complete yet mm. Well, first things first. I'm mean, gonna just, just look at it. Yeah, I, I can look at it from where I am. Like, if I feel like I need to investigate closer, I will. Uh, I'm not. You know, I'm very angry right now. My incense burner on my, my utility mechadendrite, in particular, is spewing out a lot of smoke. And where I would normally think of this as mechanicus business and something that I need to deal with, I'm very clearly not telling anyone to put their guns down. I, I, I'm very upset at the moment. I hope that shows as much as it can on a man who's half robot and another half giant mutant. Alright, so I look at the thing. Okay. Uh, this is a very, very large sort of robotic thing. Almost to the level of a dreadnought. Uh, it's a big hulking sort of robotic form that's in still in a couple different pieces laying on the floor in this you know back room where he's hid himself. He's very clearly taken parts from the shuttle and from elsewhere in this ship to get this put together. 
Hmm. Does it does it look like uh, an exo suit or like just a pure robotic construction? No, like, just just like a pure fire? robotic construction. It's not something someone would get inside. Okay, and I assume that it's not a servitor. There's not a biological component to it. It's not seemed to be at least yet. Hmm. So, uh, what are you up to, Simon? And why are you here? Uh, Simon, Simon sort of, he, he starts, uh, talking very quickly in, in binary chatter, so Merrick is the only one that understands him. Oh, uh, he starts... I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a linguist, so I, I'm sure I can pick this up. <laughs> I don't know that you speak binary. Uh, it's all ones and zeros. Yeah, that's the problem. There's a lot of them, <laughs> and it happens very fast. Yes. Actually, also, it's infrasonic, so if you don't have mechanics in plants, you wouldn't be able to hear it. Uh, so, he's apologizing very profusely. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just he, crossing all of my arms. Like he's sort externally. of... He's sort of just babbling and rambling on about, you know, he he couldn't he couldn't let them take him. He had to save him. That you know he he can help us. There's there's no reason to let them come for him. He just keeps going on and on about this. All right. So what I'm gonna essentially do is the binaric. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good metaphor. Are you gonna go here. up there and shake him and say, get? Yeah. Get yourself together, man. Stop Essentially, taking. yeah, like, but like in in like like a uh, like a pause, like just like a binary instruction that I would okay. use yeah. for like a machine. But yeah, like, I get it. are you telling yeah. us what's going on? Not right now, because I'm devoted solely to what's going on here. All all you see is me and him kind of leering at each other, and maybe hear like a weird modem noise every now and then. Not okay. Gonna, not gonna ask him who he's talking about. You no, know, I'm okay. asking him to, to no. shut up and stop for a second. He, he, he stops. He okay. stops. And then I ask him who he's talking about. He says, "Yeah, uh, the the." He explains that he is trying to save the spirit of the tech priest which would had invaded the silkworm oh good the inquisitor's tech priest yes all right i'm gonna ask him one like how he even got in contact with the spirit and two why he didn't tell me he was in contact with the spirit well, uh, he he did it first. He didn't know who he was talking to. That's where the engine messages were coming from. Hmm. And who? So is this? I assume then that this is who the Skatari are coming is coming for. Yes. And why does he think that this heretical tech priest is worth saving? He he, he explains that because because of where he's been and, and what he's seen now. He's been part of the ship. You can't just let them destroy him. He's been part of the ship, but he forced himself upon the machine spirit in violation of some of our most sacred laws. But but think about everything that he knows now, everything that he's seen, what he's experienced. There are ways of finding things out that are dangerous and this is most certainly one of them i understand your your i understand your desire to to know more about the ship but these are things that we can with time and with diligence uh, you know learn from the machine spirit itself without pressing ourselves upon it in such a way and in in fact like and, and i mean on the other hand this is mm. I'm, I'm almost at a loss for words because, like, yes. this is such a stunningly bad idea to me that I can't even comprehend what's going on. Almost, he tells you that they would, they would, you know, they'd completely take it apart and destroy him without us even ever getting a chance. I mean, is he claiming that the tech priest has fully merged with the machine spirit? Yes. Like, oh my god. He says he, he says not anymore. He says he got him out. 
I he he hold he holds up you know some some storage media. So I, I'm going to put my fingers to my temples and ask him to repeat and confirm that one, he's telling me that somehow a tech priest merged with machine spirit, which to my knowledge has never been done before. Correct. And then after that, he managed to then separate him from the machine spirit. He and tells now you, has he, he tells you that he, yeah intelligence he, he, in the storage media. Yeah, he tells you that it, the, that he told him how to do it. Tech priest told him how to do it. Okay. Um, what the fuck is going on? Before I answer that question, I want to make sure. Have I ever heard of something like this being done? Do you want me to roll? No, uh, no, for no, no you don't even have to. No, the answer is no. <laughs> Captain, provided Simon is telling me the truth, something incredibly... I'm trying to think of a way to put this in a gothic that you can understand. Basically... Good idea, bad idea. Is it good or bad? Has, has, has he sabotaged, has he sabotaged the, ship? the ship in any way? No. So, okay. in general, this is how I would explain what has happened. The Electro Priest, accompanying the Inquisitor, when mm -hmm. we killed him, somehow transferred his intelligence, his essence, his spirit, one of those words, or all of them, into the Silkworm. Told you. At which point, he somehow merged with the machine spirit of the Silkworm. This combined intelligence was the being that was communicating to us through the radiation transmissions of the engine. It instructed Simon in how to decouple itself from the machine spirit. And so the decoupled spirit of the tech priest Simon currently has in possession on him in uh, one of the storage devices... And his plan, I suppose, was to create some kind of combat servitor robotics to put the spirit in so it could defend itself from the Skitarii who are coming to destroy him for the heresy he's committed. Okay, but let's this, this is something that has never happened before. This is... Okay, I, so just to... The Skitarii are the... The military arm of the Abductus Mechanicus. Okay, so we would... So first of all, can someone just double check that the machine spirit on the Silkworm is okay again? Because that sounds like good news, if that's the case. Because the other option is that he's just sent over some type of, inter like, simulation of himself to that storage medium, which seems bad. I, I can ask some of my engineers to check obviously i'm going to i i, I being there personally would be best yeah uh, but, of course i'm yeah. not there at the moment okay so what concerns me is this is there's no there's there's no basis for this this is almost definitely heretical maybe it, I I don't see why it w why it wouldn't be heretical. I don't like the idea of putting him in a, a it battle. It depends, so I suppose, talk. on the method of transmission into the ship. If he forcefully connected himself to the machine spirit against his wishes, then yes, I would say that this is heretical action, and I'm just going to destroy the storage medium. So we should just take care of the storage medium for now, talk to the machine spirit, and then either destroy this thing or just hand it over to the uh, to the people coming to pick it up. Yes. The thing I'm worried about is why Simon would be building some type of battle servitor for it. Because that because seems like... This... Well, I... His, his logic if flawed, uh, does follow a certain pattern. The idea that one person has not just communicated with the machine spirit, but has fully combined with it and gained even a part of its knowledge and then returned to 
quote unquote humanity with that the amount of information and the importance of the information this tech priest could have is immense yeah no i i can i can see that the thing i object to is the next step of what i assume is his reasoning where he goes let's put him back together and give him guns let's put him back together in secret that's yes, the thing i agree that's... i agree that's definitely a problem here but the reason he's doing that is to obviously give it a fighting chance against the Skatarii because he doesn't want it destroyed. That's yeah, the reason. Yeah, but he's also inviting a fight on one of my ships. Oh yes, no. Simon will be punished for this transgression. At this point, I am not entirely sure what the punishment is going to be. That depends on the severity of, of what's going on here. But yes, we need to... I need to get back to the gold... I need to get back to the silkworm and try to commune with the machine spirit. Mm -hmm. Something... This is... I, I And I just kind of stop talking and turn back to Simon and explain that what he needs to do right now, he needs to hand me the storage medium because I can protect it better than he can in either case. He needs to surrender and be taken with us back to the silkworm because, like, well, he's... I'm it, right now, he's derelict. In, he's, he's, I'm charging him with dereliction of duty, which is a very serious charge. Like I said, it is a religious offense. Like, he needs to come with us calmly. I need to figure out exactly what's going on. And then I tell him that I will make a judgment call based on uh, what I find out. What we're going to do with this, with this intelligence in the storage medium. Because if it's heretical... No, I'm not going to let it put it into a giant battle robot and fight the frickin' Skitarii over it. Also, wouldn't it lose regardless? Who knows? We don't know how many Skitarii are coming, at least okay. I don't. Well, at, at, least, at least we found him before, um, before we put everything together. Please, I don't know. So, Merrick, uh, uh... Simon surrenders to you. He hands you the the tech priest that's in the storage. Okay. Good. I'm glad at least he came without a fight. We're going to have to escort him back to... Uh, I, I want... Mm, I wonder if it would be better... Yeah, I want... I Put think I want him here? on the... I'm, I'm trying to decide because, like, this is a bigger ship, so it has more people. But it also means, like, so more guards. But it also means there's more, like, hiding spaces if you were to break out or something. Yeah, but it also means, assuming we can strip him down and make sure he doesn't have a backup copy or whatever, like, the worst he can do is hide. Mm. He's not going to deal with the... Like, because I don't want... Like, if, if, if he manages to break free from the brig on the Silk Worm, I'm worried that he can do a lot more damage. He does know... Mm. We can just yeah, send he him knows, back to the no, planet, actually. Point. He knows... I thought about that, but I feel like uh, having him on the planet, we're going to be less able to guard him than we would on one of the ships. I think putting I think leaving him on the brig on the Golden Egg's right call, he's not as familiar with the ship, so it would take longer for him to do anything. If he would break out, he would have to familiarize himself with the systems. And being okay. as stern as she is, the captain of, of this ship is going to make sure he's well guarded, I'm sure. Okay, good. 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 Let's let's get get out of here. We, you we should have make the thing he's made 100% inoperable, though. Yeah. Like, take out a lot of bits of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can do that. Mm. I actually want... I want to leave that for now. Uh, I want to. We should put it under guard, definitely. But I don't want to tamper with it because I may need that as evidence. Oh, I wanted to tamper with it. Yeah, we but surely we can. Ha we, it, it can be evidence even if you make make it more inoperable. No, because like, I need to see how he's constructed it. I need to know what he was doing with it. I need to know if this follows any patterns like that. And you're saying you can't do use. that if you remove that thing? Remove what? The th the 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 bleepy bloppy thing over there. The 
Captain, you're going to have to be more specific. Well, I'm saying if you remove a component that you know what the component is, assuming the component actually does something, it's now p partly inoperable and you still know what that thing did, right? Yes, but I, do, I may not be able to hook it back up in the same way again. Yeah, but you don't need to hook it back up to see what it was. It might have been designed by the machine spirit. Merged. Exactly. I, I very much saying. need this thing in its current condition. Then because I, I, need to see I strongly suggest kind of we send that down to the planet because I don't like having all of these things up here in space. Is this something we could even what? fit on one of the shuttles? Why don't we just... Yeah, yeah you, you could put it in the shuttle and take shuttle. it out to the silkworm. And then they're on separate ships. That's true. No, that it actually yes. Have it taken to my quarters. No, wait. Uh, here's here's my thought on that. That's if, if we don't if like we haven't confirmed that he's not still in the other machine spirit. If we take him his new cool body and he can just yeah. jump to well, it's it. It's not from... fully operational. We don't know that. It's... We don't know that because I you... thought that I figured that out when I looked at it. Yeah, no, it's it's not done. It's not finished. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not risking it. If you want it somewhere, you can put it on the down on the planet, or well, put it down on the planet. At some point, it's going to have to come up to my quarters anyway, so I can actually have the machine. Yeah, but we don't it. need to do it right now, because we don't know how it works and we don't know what it does. And you said as much yourself. Which so. I would, which I would discover by studying it. Yeah, but before you, you have a chance study to study it, right it it's not going on the silkworm, and that's final. You can bring it up later. It's just a. So, like, it's just a shuttle trip away. Alright. That's fine. I shake my head at Simon. Okay, that's well. Simon's escorted sure. away to to the brig. The brig. Uh, you, you send the... You're sending it down to the planet? Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Yep. yep. Alright, you send it down. Uh, Tell in the put it in a room and lock the door. Yep. Uh... Let's see. And right, I want to make get sure. Back to the I want to make sure that we monitor the, um, well, basically everything we can on the planet, as in um, the um, like uh, where the the other city where the uh, ship with the forges and all of that, so we can mm -hmm. see if they're like if they're moving troops around or if they're trying to amass. If they're okay, basically well, bringing out all the power cords to boost the um, teleportation thing. Over I mean, I'm sure we the... can't see that specifically, but whatever we can right. see, I want to see it. Right, right. Okay, so uh, it was going to take Merrick about a week to fix up the power source to, uh, like, the rest of the city to actually mm -hmm. power the teleportarium. Uh, in the meantime... Uh, all through their their media, uh, uh, the other country, uh, Trollmark, mm -hmm. uh, Cremark, um, is running sort of, you know, uh, smear campaigns and all sides, sorts yeah, of political I, things, I explaining that, that would... they, yeah, they, they're explaining that they have. You know, they have the Articles mm -hmm. of Secession for uh, Angle and that they're completely invalid and they've looked over them. And throughout this whole time, you know, uh, people in Angle are uh, rapidly losing morale. Uh, yeah. A, a few other as, smaller as, battles as, are as soon no, as, as, as soon as I see that, because mm -hmm. I was kind of expecting it. I'm going to block yeah. out their channels, because when we came here first and started communicating, we could interrupt all of their um, communications, right? When I said hello. Yes, yeah. I want to keep doing that, because they're not sending out any propaganda that I can stop. Well, uh, Are we going to be playing I would, I would bring up that unless we try to do this, like, surgically, you're just turning off all communications on the entire planet. That's fine by me. Okay. Because you should probably our... work towards making it surge cooler. Right. Yeah. Because like maybe Angle wants to be able to actually use their radios to. Yeah, but we can. They can communicate through us. Like we can still send we can communication. Provide the means of communication. Exactly. Okay. So, so 
So you're blocking out the entire communication system for the planet, and you're providing just a few radios for Engel to use, like some Vox communicators of your own. That yeah, I mean, depending on how much we we want to we want to make sure that they can communicate with who they want to communicate. But I'm sure they would agree that because of the what happened with the prince, we do not want um, the um, we do not want our enemies to lower. Our troops' morale, so it's smarter to block out their transmission and possibly send our own morale-boosting messages through, since we have that option. Well, the way it's working right now, you can't send anything if you're blocking everything. Yeah, but I mean, then that's that's still better than them being allowed to lower our morale. Okay. So they begin some propaganda saying, you know the. They've got the Articles of Secession and everything's invalid. And you pretty quickly turn on your, uh, you know, all your radios and overload all their, their full satellite feed and everything. So they can't get their message out. Um, are you are you just permanently keeping this up for now? Just leaving it blocked? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm sure, like, when, when we're saying blocking, does it mean we can actually transmit information? No. Okay, then yes. We're leaving okay. it up for now. Okay. Well, you leave it up. Um, it a, a, at first, everyone in Angle, uh, the the king and uh, you know his advisors are, are pleading for you to stop. They need to be able to communicate with their troops. The people need to be able to, uh, you know, receive information. They need to be able to see mm -hmm. their news. They need to know what's going on. They, they they get none of this at the moment. You've blocked it all out. Um. Well, if they if they have good enough reasons for why it's more important, because they do realize that as soon as we turn this off, everyone is going to hear about the um, uh, the succession papers, and they're going to lose a lot of morale be based on that. But they know they know their troops better. If they think if if they if they think that their uh, troops have s strong enough morale that you want they won't suffer morale losses and lose the war that way. By the other countries sending out uh, sending out uh, propaganda, then let's talk about it. Well, the king tells you that he thinks a complete media and communications blackout is going to hurt morale. Uh, yeah, but is it going to? His same suggestion. Amount. His his suggestion is go public with the fact that you and your crew and your ships are here completely within. Uh, with an angle. Get the word out that you're there and you're on their side and that you're helping. And so it doesn't even matter whatever Creemark uh, is going to be saying. Yeah. I was going to say that the way we counter the secession thing is we go, actually, neither of you matter. You're part of a yeah. galactic imperium yeah. of men. I, exactly. But you and probably I, word it a little nicer than yeah. hey, you and idiots. I think, I think I'm going to. Together with the king, I am going to spend about a, probably a day working on this speech that he and I can present present together, which is essentially that um, we've uh, we've finally come back and that their planet is actually part of a much larger universe, which uh, which we represent, and we're here to make sure that the well, we're here to. Well, stop the war, basically, because it's been going on for too long. And we want to bring everyone back into the fold uh, in this galactic unity. And that's why we're here. And okay. And we're also here to... Well, I guess I shouldn't mention that we're here to a point. I wonder if... Hmm. I'm, I'm going to... I think I'm going to just do some like feeling around during this day as well because i want to try and figure out if it's actually good for me to mention that we're here to appoint a planetary governor or if that would just me if that would let the our enemies play that up as they are should be have a rightful planetary governor I don't think planetary government matters right now if, as much as you know the chaos well it's a, i mean it's it's from from the planet itself like i don't think the planet's like whoa chaos they don't know shit about that it's i mean it's a it's a question of who who's actually in charge in the different countries and by talking about a planetary governor we're essentially saying no this is bigger 
you're one planet now. You just know a bunch of countries. You can be that if if you want to, but my worry is if we do the hey people from space are here to yeah. sort this all out that they go, "Oh hey, actually we've got people from space too and we've been here longer and that's why we've been winning the war, you idiots." Mhm. Mm it's, like, yeah, oh. it's a very delicate situation talking about the, the ruinous powers like yeah but i so let's not me, um let's not mention planetary governor but i think it's still important to get that message out so basically we're saying we're here you're part of a something much bigger and we're here to make sure that the uh we're going to we're going to help you put an end to the war okay uh so you get your message out um, mm -hmm. so you 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 appear on their television equivalent with the king. Yeah. Um, you give your speech to massive crowds of people uh, in the capital city of Angle. Um, reaction is mixed. Uh, overall, it's reasonably positive. There's enough people that just straight up don't believe it, though, and people that other people that you know think it's a terrible thing. Uh, that uh, you know, it, it's not a huge boost to morale, but it does save a bit from the losses that they've had so far with uh, losing their articles of secession and whatnot. Uh, it, the the response from Kremark isn't one of you know propaganda or media. Instead, uh, they seem to have gone all out in their assault on all, all of uh, Angle's held positions. Mm -hmm. um, you get reports from the battlefield of all sorts of horrors uh, happening across the planet. When, when you're saying horrors, are we talking well, like war atrocities so, or are we talking actual horrors as in demons, demons and shit? So at, at first, it's simply a huge assault from the regular army. They're still going in with their LAS guns and they're still, uh, you know, pretty easily dominating most of Engel's regular troops. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, though, um, the Space Marine has been showing up much more often in battles. Uh, the one that you were assuming is a Psyker, uh, is, you see him on some video feeds. Uh, doing some reasonably horrific things wherein massive amounts of people are just you know basically melted or explode or all sorts of different things happen to them and then not long after that um the battles start featuring s creatures that barely even show up on film properly they seem to be half mutating in and out of this dimension uh you know all sorts of fleshy appendages and tentacles appear and start just pulling soldiers uh, apart. Not even just the Engel soldiers. It seems like the Kremark soldiers don't even have complete control over these mm -hmm. monsters that are appearing on the field as well. Um, you see footage of some of Engel's, uh, you know, small attack bombers go drop some of their you know best weaponry on it. it seems to have almost no effect on some of these creatures a few of them are blown apart but after angle starts responding with their attack bombers there's almost immediately some uh some new f flying technology of cream marks that to you appears more like modern at least modern for you uh gun cutters mm -hmm. and whatnot that are pretty easily destroying their sort of you know f f16 f22 equivalent vehicles do we have any type of vehicles like that or anything in our sh hidden do ship you, in in your ship no no i'm saying in the one that's in the oh. ground oh no not that you know of well they started manufacturing needs... them some though well, um they were it, manufacturing it does last it does house, appear right? it does appear from the video footage that you have that these these gun cutters that they have are not archaeotech they're they're reasonably modern uh vehicles so wait are they so they they them? would they they wouldn't have either they wouldn't have got them from that ship they're either right. building they were them produced. or they're brought here fuck Captain, okay so it's been, i'm gonna say go it's been ship. about 
five or six days so far. I think we need at, to blow this planet up. Yeah, we should go to the ship and blow it up and be done with it. At, at this point, um, Sigmund is at uh, Damaris, if you if you want to talk to him. But he's yeah, uh, I do, but not right now, because it's time to say goodbye to YouTube. Bye, Bye YouTube. YouTube. Bye, YouTube.